uh, um, in, introduction, sorry. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I'll start with some general overview where I will tell you about Inamin company and uh, about how scientific research is done and published there. And I shall switch to some topics that are uh, most studied in our groups uh, for today. These are fluorinated derivatives of saturated rings and boronic derivatives of thereof. Then I will showcase you some other publications related to building block synthesis because building blocks are uh, for, for medicinal chemistry are the main uh, product of inamine and they are of course uh, the main product of our, the main uh, topic of our research. And I shall tell you about some uh, uh, achievements in uh, combinatorial chemistry in parallel synthesis and as well as and in generating synthetically tra tractable so-called real space and finish with some outline. So this is agenda, our agenda for today. So uh, Inamin is a chemical company with headquarters in Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, we have also uh, divisions in uh, Germany, uh, in Poland, and in Latvia. This is for EU, and there is also a, a small division in USA. The company uh, was uh, founded more than 30 years ago, just as Ukraine regained its, its, its independence. And today uh, we have almost 700 chemists and uh, about the same number of uh, supporting staff and other staff. Uh, so uh, compounds, uh, so the company uh, doesn't have is its uh, own drug discovery research, uh, although we are uh, mainly focused on pharmaceutical industry and supporting pharmaceutical industry, and the company is 100% uh, service oriented. In uh, 2022, we had quite hard times because of Russian invasion, but uh, we are slowly recovering, and uh, in, in 2023, uh, there was significant growth. Now sales on the market, so uh, we, we hope that uh, this will be continuing for further. So, uh, what uh, is is uh, Inamin business? The 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 main part of uh, Inamin business is related to so-called catalog model. So we propose uh, chemical compounds to our customers. This is uh, about seventy percent of our yearly year revenues. Uh, the two major uh, products in this category are building blocks uh, that allow uh, medicinal chemists and uh, pharmaceutical chemists to synthesize the compound, their compound of interest. We have the, the world's largest stock of such compounds, which is commercially available, and uh, it is uh, more than half of the world's stock of such compounds. In the, also, we have quite a large stock of screen compounds, uh, organic compounds for screening. It is more than 4 million. It is, again, the, the, the largest world uh, stock which is commercially available. Some pharmaceutical companies have larger collections, but this one is com the largest commercially available. And it is uh, what, what was made and located in Ukraine. So uh, other types of business are related to contract research services. Uh, we do we are doing custom chemistry for our customers, uh, which is related to compound library synthesis, synthesis of reference compounds, scaffolds, building blocks, and uh, so on. We can support medicinal and computational chemistry efforts by uh, providing a heat to lead optimization, uh, some virtual screening programs and so on. And we also have quite a strong biological unit, which is called Bienta, uh, which uh, provides uh, biological studies for early drug discovery programs, in particular screening campaigns, study of uh, physical chemical and pharmacokinetic parameters, and in vivo pharmacokinetic st studies in animals. So, uh, as I mentioned before, in, I mean, uh, the main area of in, I mean, uh, uh, business is related to pharmaceutical uh, industry. 
and we support uh, drug discovery at early stages, starting from starting from screening through to heat identification validation, heat per lead optimization, further lead optimization, and even preclinical studies with our biological unit. So this is uh, the uh, place where we where we take. And we also work with other uh, industry sectors, for example, uh, with agricultural sectors, with material science chemists, uh, and provide chemical compounds and chemical services to them. Uh, the, uh, key, uh, the key feature of Inamin is, of course, its building block collection. I have mentioned that this is the world's largest uh, stock collection to date. And it is used to build all other products and services that comp the company provides. So uh, include, this includes screening compounds, this is, includes uh, chemical services and also chemical virtual chemical track, chemically tractable chemical space, which can, contains trillions of compounds that can be easily synthesized in one or within one to three steps. So they are they can be considered as readily available or so real compounds. What about uh, our publications and our scientific research? We typically publish those results that are, uh, of course, non, non 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 exclusive to our partners, and primarily obtained uh, either from internal projects or mostly from collaborations with Ukrainian academic institutions and organizations abroad. Of course, one of the main goals of our publication is related to, from the business viewpoint, is related to marketing. So we would like to highlight our capabilities, our products and services. Uh, so most publications are related to the synthesis of two uh, major build, uh, categories of our products, building blocks and compound libraries. This is also a good opportunity for our employees to get PhD. We collaborate with for this with uh, Kiev Academic Institution, with Taras Shevchenko National University, uh, with National Academic Academy of Science, and so on. And uh, we, our number of publications was constantly growing. To date, in 2023, it almost reached 100. Uh, this is partially due because we have several groups that are specially dedicated to uh, scientific research, to supporting it. Uh, there are three groups uh, uh, of such type, and I have uh, had one of one of them. We'd like to, uh, to call ourselves Scientific Support Department. Currently, this group includes uh, seven people, and I will be presenting results only from this team, uh, or obtained for, by uh, collaboration of this team with other groups at Inamin. So uh, what about the journals where we are publishing? Uh, we are, of course, trying to aim at uh, high impact journals, but uh, and, and we have some uh, success there, as you can see from this slide. Uh, we have some uh, Nature and Givante publication, JAX. Uh, most of our publication in 2023 uh, went to chemical, Chemistry European Journal 11 papers. Uh, but, uh, of course, the uh, most important journals for us are uh, organic chemistry journals, uh, the Journal of Organic Chemistry by uh, American Chemical Society, and uh, European Journal of Organic Chemistry by uh, Chemistry Europe, or, uh, published by Wiley. Uh, there are also publications in medicinal chemistry journals, in combinatorial chemistry journals, and uh, some specialized journals but these are not shown here. So uh, let's go uh, talking about our uh, uh, specific research uh, programs. We are, uh, we have, we in Ukraine have a strong and long history of organofluorine chemistry. And uh, at Inamin, it is one of the most important uh, scientific research areas. Uh, over the, the last years, we have uh, aimed to uh, prepare, uh, to synthesize, to, 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 to uh, develop synthetic, uh, synthetic approaches that can uh, uh, that allow to access uh, these compounds in uh, multigram quantities. 
Uh, these include uh, derivative of saturated heterocyclic rings uh, with uh, fluorine, fluorine atoms or fluoroalkyl substituents. Uh, also, we have uh, prepared uh, a lot of uh, small ring derivatives with fluorinated uh, fluoroalkyl substituents and also uh, gamma fluorinated uh, cyclical can derivatives. For all of these series, for all of these compounds, we are also aiming to establish all uh, the most important physical chemical properties for from the medicinal chemistry viewpoint, that is PKA and block P uh, for model derivatives. And this was done for all these series in the last year. Uh, we have covered uh, this uh, area for uh, mono and difluorinated uh, azitidine, piperidine, and piperidine derivatives. And most of them are, of course, known in the literature. But for some of them, we have to develop uh, synthetic, efficient synthetic approaches. For example, for compounds shown in the, uh, the uh, bottom of the slide, 3, 4, and 3, 5, that fluorinated piperidine derivatives. Uh, and this was done successfully. I will not go uh, through all details. I will give only short uh, short uh, outcome of this work uh, in terms of physical chemical properties. So uh, the compounds that uh, we have studied provide quite a huge range of possibilities to vary both uh, basicity and lipophilicity of the compound. Uh, in this di diagram, uh, yellow points correspond to monofluorinated derivatives. Uh, blue ones to difluorinated, gray uh, data points uh, correspond to our previous results on floral kill substituted piperidines, and black data points to parent non fluorinated compounds. And you can see that uh, the pKa values can be varied within almost seven unit pKa units and log P uh, within two uh, units. So this whole data set of fluorinated piperidines and uh, saturated heterocyclic amines, sorry. Uh, allows to uh, modulate uh, physical chemical properties of potential uh, lip compound in quite huge in quite huge range. One interesting data point here is uh, this one, which is related to uh, which corresponds to uh, 3,5 difluorinated derivative. It is uh, unusually hydrophilic as compared to other compound. It is compounds. It is outlier. And uh, we uh, explain this because by uh, actual orientation of the fluorana atoms that increase the overall dipole moment of the molecule, uh, such conformational preferences for 3,5 difluorinated piperidines were documented in the literature. But in this work, we have shown that this leads to strongly increased hydrophilicity of the model derivative. Another uh, series of compounds that we have studied is. Uh, Fluoroalkyl substituted cyclobutanes. And uh, this year we have published a synthesis of these 12 compounds. Uh, they are, have been prepared on multigram scales. The chemistry is quite simple here. It is, it is based on nucleophilic fluorination of corresponding functional groups. So I, I will not stop uh, at, at it in more details. You can refer to the corresponding publication if you are interested for, to, to hear more about this. And uh, it was published in Eurojog and uh, highlighted by this nice cover, which also shows uh, uh, Vernadsky Library in Kyiv. Uh, this uh, photo was taken in the period when Kyiv suffered from uh, blackouts, so the night sky was clearly visible even in the, within the city very well. But this photo is, of course, edited so uh, to, in, to enhance, to enhance the, uh, the quality. So about uh, physical chemical properties of these uh, cyclobutane, fluorinated cyclobutanes, uh, I show here a little bit more details than in previous case. So uh, uh, as for pKa, you can see that uh, everything is quite simple here. Uh, adding uh, each additional fluorine atom reduces pKa, which can, can be expected from uh, inductive effect of fluorine atoms. And it is almost linear here. So uh, indeed, the inductive effect of fluorine uh, atoms is the main feature which is responsible for the compound's acidity or basicity. Uh, there is small, also very small difference between cis, between cis and trans isomers. 
since isomers are slightly less basic or slightly more acidic correspondingly. And so this might be related to the field effect of the fluorinated substituent through, through space. And uh, as for log P, uh, this, in this case, the, uh, the, uh, the effect is non-monotonic. So uh, adding CF, uh, CH2F group uh, significantly uh, decreases the compound's lipo lipophilicity log P value even uh, despite the two heavy atoms are added to the molecule as compared to hydrogen. Then uh, upon addition, second fluorine atom, uh, the lipophilicity is regained and uh, CF3 substituted derivatives are most lipophilic. This correlates with the results uh, for acyclic derivatives reported in the literature, but nevertheless, it is quite interesting that fluorinated substituent can modulate uh, lipo compound lipophilicity uh, it allowed to fine tune this property in potential lead compounds in drug discovery. Uh, again, when depicted on a log PPK plot, both carboxylic acids and amines of the cyclobutan series uh, show that uh, the physical chemical properties can be varied uh, in quite large uh, ranges for this compound class as well. Uh, we have uh, also done several similar studies for some bicyclic fluorinated derivatives. Uh, again, uh, multigram synthesis, PK and block P, uh, trans studying PK and the block P strands for all these chemotypes. Uh, I will not stop in, uh, in more details here, just uh, demonstrate these uh, fused bicyclic compounds. We also introduce them in mar into Maravero analogs and confirm their uh, uh, activity by in silico modeling. And as well as uh, these bridged derivatives, uh, very, very, very nice that were prepared in large quantities and fluorination had some interesting impacts on physical chemical properties. Some of that, some were mostly expected, but uh, some lipophilicity trends, for example, were quite unusual. <clears throat> the second uh, part of uh, my uh, talk is related to boronic derivatives. We have quite be, been quite active in this area too. And I will showcase three publications here. So uh, we uh, have been studying cyclo addition of various unsaturated uh, boronates and uh, quite a lot. And in th this year, uh, we have uh, published uh, two plus uh, a public uh, a work with uh, our results on two plus two cyclo additions of uh, triple con uh, containing boronates with maliimides under photochemical conditions. This work was done in 2022 mostly and uh, it was done uh, during a visit of Alexander Leshuk to the group of uh, Jeremy Vazer in, in, in uh, University of Lasagna. So most of this work was done not was not done in Kiev. Nevertheless, we have obtained quite interesting results here. So you can see that two plus two cyclo addition uh, can be controlled, and uh, the reaction can provide either uh, mono cyclo addition or two double cyclo addition products. Uh, and but it in most cases, for example, for various uh, n substituted maliimides for uh, alkyl substituted or silyl substituted uh, alkenyl boronates for uh, boronates uh, or maliamides with various functional, functional groups. The, the method provides uh, this quite nice bicyclic uh, cyclobutane boronates that can be promising agents for CC couplings. Uh, <clears throat> with non-symmetric maliamides, the reaction is also possible, but it gives uh, mixtures of regioisomers, so it is not very practical here. The method can be extended also to three fluoroborates. Quite interestingly, uh, with, al with aryl substituted uh, uh, alkenyl boronates, the products of double cyclo additions uh, are uh, obtained exclusively. This might be uh, related to uh, lower reactivity of the starting compound four, which is, uh, and after the first cyclo addition, the, the corresponding cyclo butane has comparable or even higher reactivity towards maliamides, so that the reaction cannot be stopped at uh, the first stage here. 
the compounds were obtained as mixture of uh, those stereomers and that can be separated here. The utility of the products obtained was demonstrated by, by there are some chemical transformations. For example, we introduced them into Suzuki reaction and it worked perfectly well, and some as well as some other transformations. We also used this approach to obtain uh, this thalidomide analog. Uh, recently, thalidomide uh, and its analogs have uh, gained my, much interest in uh, design of uh, cerebellum ligands, uh, which is important for uh, discovery of uh, protein degrades, so-called bifunctional molecules oriented at uh, protein degradation. Uh, all, all, that are also known by Protax abbreviature. Uh, in another study, which is what was continued in Kiev next year, we, we have uh, introduced alkenyl boronates into 3 plus 2 cyclo additions with uh, azomethane lilid. And in this case, the reaction also showed perfect control uh, for, more, for more substrates we could uh, obtain one to one or one to two cycloadux depending on the uh, control and just the stoichiometry of the reagents uh, for most substrates for uh, uh, for example for non substituted for alkyl substituted for uh, some functionalized uh, alkenes uh, one to one ducts were obtained with quite good efficiency uh, for uh, the case of two, uh, two, one to two double cycle addition products, the method did not work for uh, alkyl substituted uh, uh, substrates when R is alkyl here, but with uh, at least some uh, electron uh, withdrawing groups, at least uh, for groups having at least some electron withdrawing effect, the method still worked well. Uh, for aryl substituted substrates, uh, the, they were uh, inactive under the conditions studied, and the method was quite efficient so, so that uh, it could be scaled to uh, the decagrams quantities of the final products. And we also demonstrated, no, sorry, we also demonstrated the utility for uh, CC coupling for, for the unsaturated compounds and for some other transformations for these bicyclic adducts. Uh, one more work on organoboron compounds uh, was done by a different group at Inamin, and it is related to organocatalytic borodecarboxylation. Borodecarboxylation or transformation of carboxylic acid into organoboron derivatives have, uh, has uh, obtained much interest in uh, recently, and there are quite, no, quite a lot, lot method. There have been quite a lot method published recently. Uh, they typically involve quite fancy metal catalysts uh, or uh, organo catalysts. But we have turned our attention to the one work that was published almost 10 years ago uh, in organic letters that described the use of uh, pyridine. Uh, so this pyridine derivative derived uh, organo catalyst, it is very cheap and very uh, accessible. So this method can be used for scale up for uh, obtaining multigram quantities of the products. And originally, authors uh, described uh, original authors described uh, the utility of this method for aryl boronic derivatives. We, in our work, we have shown that it can be successfully extended to uh, cyclopropane derivatives, but not as a uh, saturated uh, carboxylic acid, unfortunately. Acids, unfortunately. And what was uh, most interesting about this study is uh, exceptional stereoselectivity of the method. Uh, in all cases where we used one, two sub substituted cyclopropanes, uh, trans diastereomers were formed exclusively. If we started from chiral uh, carboxylic acid, uh, pure enantiomers could be obtained. And uh, even for fluorine, this diastereoselectivity was excellent. And furthermore, when we used cis or trans uh, diastereomeric uh, starting materials, in both cases, in both cases, or mixtures thereof, in all these cases, uh, transdiastereomers were formed. Uh, even for such small groups as fluorine or methyl, uh, the diastereoactivity, stereoselectivity was excellent. The limitations of the method include substrates with electron withdrawing groups, uh, 
but it could also could be extended to one once they substituted or bicyclic derivatives as well. Uh, we uh, proposed the, some uh, extension to the mechanism published in the previous work. So uh, this high diastereoselectivity can be related to this step, uh, the, which is a combination of uh, which is com uh, combination of radicals seven and eight. Uh, in principle, two uh, mechanisms are possible for this step: dissociative or associative. And we believe that uh, associative mechanism is in place because of uh, very high diastereoselectivity can be achieved only if uh, some steric uh, effects are uh, take place in the uh, transition state uh, at this step. <clears throat> uh, some other works uh, include, for example, uh, generation of uh, pure dimethyl substituted diazomethane. This compound appeared to quite uh, to be quite unstable, but still it can be handled in solution and generated in solution. Uh, it undergoes three plus two cyclic additions with various uh, electron poor substrates, for example, with alkynes. And we have prepared uh, a series of biodimethyl substituted pyrazoles. This substituent, uh, phosphenoxide substituent, has gained much attention in medicinal chemistry recently because several compounds were introduced into the market containing this group, and this uh, substituent can uh, decrease compound lipophilicity significantly. For the case of uh, uh, substrates with double bond, cyclo addition reaction uh, is not uh, so uh, obvious and not so apparent. It can lead to mixtures of uh, the corresponding tautomers. And in some cases, delta-1 tautomers, for example, this one was isolated in pure form. But in most cases, we have treated them with acetic acid to uh, promote tautomerization to more stable forms, 11 or 12. That depends on the substitution at this atom at this, uh, and at the substituents present here. So and the corresponding cyclodux can could be obtained for electron poor substrates. Some substrate didn't work as well in this case. Uh, I will show uh, at this on this slide. I will show you uh, very shortly quite a huge work on uh, synthesis of bicyclic derivatives uh, using a general approach, which includes includes functionalization of either exocyclic or endocyclic double bonds in the corresponding uh, carboxylic acid derivative, ester or nitrile, and uh, followed by, for example, this uh, functionalization can include bromination, bro bromofluorination, methoxybromination, or iodoazidation. And then the corresponding living group is uh, participates in uh, intramolecular alkylation at uh, inolat formed by upon action of base, and bicyclic system is constructed very efficiently. We should demonstrate the generality of this method and show that for the case of exocyclic double bond substrates, uh, bridged, bridged bicyclic systems are obtained. And the smallest uh, bicyclic system which can be formed is bicyclic 2 to 1 heptane, uh, which is formed in, in modest yields here. But uh, the method it works well for larger bicyclic substrates. Uh, on the contrary, when the uh, double bond is endocyclic, the method works perfectly well with uh, even with quite small bicyclic system. For example, this nice bicyclo 210 uh, pentane derivative, also known as Hausan derivative. Uh, the method had some complications when uh, non symmetric starting substrates were used, uh, but for fortunately, the synchronization was quite controlled uh, with. Uh, compounds uh, having uh, providing symmetric substitutions double bonds for example in the case of bromination the uh, one regular isomer was formed inclusively providing bicyclic system shown here uh, for non symmetric compounds mixture of regular isomers were formed but nevertheless only one of them underwent cyclization so uh, as a diastereomer of uh, the corresponding bicyclic system could be constructed also quite easily we have performed a synthesis of over 100 building blocks with various functionalizations 
on multigram uh, quantities using this very efficient approach, very efficient reaction sequence. We also studied the uh, lipophilicity and uh, basic basic properties for the corresponding compounds. And what was found here that bicyclic derivatives were less lipophilic than the corresponding benzene, de benzene derivatives. And uh, they also were less lipophilic than uh, the corresponding monocyclic derivatives having uh, nearly the same uh, carbon atom count. So uh, in introducing bicyclic, bicyclic system into uh, potential drug molecule, potential lead molecule is a good strategy to uh, decrease compound lipophilicity. Also by uh, studying uh, molecular geomet geometry of the compounds obtained, we proposed some rules for uh, isosteric replacements uh, of monocyclic and uh, saturated monocyclic and benzene derivatives using this uh, uh, obtained by uh, this bicyclic cell system obtained by us. So uh, we proposed uh, isosteric replacements for meta substituted benzene uh, derivatives uh, as well as one three the substituted cyclopentane cyclohexane derivatives as well. Uh, quite a different work is related to the introduction of cycloalkyl or heterocyclic saturated substituents into, piperi into pyridine ring. Uh, so uh, synthesis of heteril, uh, heter heterocycloalkyl piperidines. In this case, to introduce uh, the, the saturated uh, cyclic substituent, we used uh, a relation of the corresponding nitriles uh, anions with uh, fluorinated pyridines. And this method worked, worked very well for a huge uh, range of substrates here. And then uh, the nitril group could be removed by uh, either alkaline or acidic hydrolysis, either in one step or two step reactions, using one step or two step reaction sequences, depending on the substrate, substrate structure. And uh, in the end, we introduced uh, uh, cycloalkyl or saturated heterocyclic substituents at the corresponding position of the pyridine ring. So uh, this is uh, indirect uh, approach to CC coupling, uh, which is uh, which can, is done in two steps. And uh, this approach is quite efficient on multigram scales. In some cases, it, it, the, the whole reaction sequence didn't work as was planned. For example, cyclopropane uh, derivatives didn't undergo uh, decarboxylation at uh, conditions studied, uh, but in the increased the, uh, temperatures, the, the, the composition of substrate, substrate occurred. Still, we have obtained this nice cyclopropane containing carboxylic acids, containing also containing functionalized pyridine ring. And uh, another work which was published in JOC highlights our efforts on the synthesis of one, two dive substituted uh, cyclobutanes using only five starting materials. We have prepared more than uh, several uh, dozens of uh, various cyclobutanes uh, as cis and trans isomer, pure diastereomers. Uh, in some cases, using enzymatic. Uh, resolution we have resolved, uh, we have obtained pure enantiomers too. These are quite nice building blocks uh, that can be used, low molecular building blocks that can be used in uh, early drug discovery efforts. And uh, this strategy is uh, quite uh, useful for early drug discovery stages where uh, using uh, a limited number of starting materials, we obtain a huge diversity of functionalities uh, attached to the bicyclic to the uh, cyclic system. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the last chemical part of my talk, uh, I should fit in time to see, uh, so uh, is related to our efforts in parallel chemistry. And uh, this was done mainly with, in collaboration with our parallel synthesis department. And also I will show you uh, some information about uh, generation of uh, synthetically tractable, so so-called readily accessible real space. Uh, so, uh, in, a, in a work that was just published in JOG, we uh, studied uh, chemical selectivity in uh, amination of sulfonyl halides containing also a, sen a senaryl reactive center. 
these two uh, electrophilic centers can be quite close in reactivity, so to the differentiate them uh, can be a difficult task. Nevertheless, uh, for the sulfonyl chlorides, we have shown that uh, most heterocyclic or uh, carbocyclic substrates uh, can uh, be modified chemoselectively at, at the sulfonyl chloride moiety, so sulfonylation typically go, goes first. Even only for the most reactive SNR reactive substrates, these uh, amination reactions became com become competitive. So this in this for this substrate, this method doesn't work. For uh, most substrates, uh, second amination with different amine was also possible. So uh, this uh, gives a, gives us a approach to uh, formal three component reaction one uh, sulfonyl chloride by functionalized and two different amines, uh, which is quite promising for generation of ultra large chemical spaces. Uh, of course, if activation of the halogen was not sufficient, only monoamination was possible in these cases. And we have prepared uh, quite a large library of uh, compound using parallel synthesis conditions, about 1000 of uh, sulfonamides and uh, showed that the method has uh, wide applicability uh, and also using our collections of building blocks, we generated a uh, chemical space which uh, should have uh, high synthetic accessibility. So these compounds should be obtained with high efficiency under the condition described. And uh, this uh, chemical space include, includes uh, almost 7 billion of compounds that can be accessed with uh, about 80% probability and uh, uh, using some kind of informatic analysis and uh, dimensional reductions, we shown that this chemical space is quite different from all, all the uh, uh, accessible compound collections, in particular our stock collection, uh, Zinc15 uh, database, or Chem database for Campbell. Uh, database containing biologically active comp compounds with annotated biological activity. So this chemical space is quite unique and can be used for mining uh, potential biologically active compounds in drug discovery. As for sulfonyl fluorides, uh, this uh, method was not so uh, 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 so defined as in the previous case. So the reaction often was not uh, chemoselective here, but nevertheless, for many substrates, uh, the reaction uh, occurred firstly at the SNRL active site, leaving the sulfonyl fluoride intact. This was, for example, for most paridine derivatives, so some uh, heterocycles having uh, additional heteroatoms, diazines, uh, tiazoles, uh, so, this method can, could be used for the synthesis of sulfonyl fluoride libraries by uh, uh, cell chemoselective aminations. And these compounds are quite valuable for medicinal chemistry because they are uh, promising covalent modifiers for uh, biological targets, uh, covalent ligands. And this is one of the hot topics in uh, current early drug discovery uh, as well. Uh, second amination at the sulfonyl fluoride group was also possible in most cases. Uh, since it provides the same products as with sulfonyl chlorides, it makes sense only when the corresponding sulfonyl chloride is not stable. As for example, for this compound, uh, when sulfonyl chloride is in the second position, it, it is not stable. Or when we have similar reactivity for the aryl active and sulfonyl chloride uh, centers as for the bottom row, these compounds can be uh, undergo uh, amination selectively first as, as at the scenario active site and then at the sulfonyl fluoride site. <clears throat> Another work on parallel synthesis was done in collaboration with Mark Levin from University of Chicago. Uh, we adapted here his fascinating reagent for nitrogen deletion, deletion for the single atoms skeletal editing. Uh, this compound, when added to uh, secondary amines, amine removes a uh, secondary amine group and uh, results, uh, which results in the formation of the C bond between, the C -C bond between, between 
the uh, alkyl substituent. So formally, we obtained the CC coupling product between do these two sp3 centers. And we utilize this in the idea uh, in uh, two-step parallel uh, chemistry approach. So we uh, obtained, uh, we, uh, at the first step, we obtained these secondary amines starting from aromatic aldehydes of heteroaromatic ones and corresponding benzyl amines. Uh, after reductive amination step, the products were not isolated in pure form, but uh, subjected to uh, nitrogen deletion, deletion step. And this provided quite a nice library of uh, the aryl ethylenes that are hardly accessible by, by any other methods. So they also, this provided an access to almost a, a half billion chemical space, which is quite unique. And this was published in Chemistry European Journal last year. Uh, during this uh, project, we also uh, uh, achieved uh, uh, efficient scale up of the uh, Levin's radiant synthesis. We have prepared uh, up to seventy, uh, up to sixty grams of this in a single round. So uh, this compound may, was made commercially available also for uh, for the studies in other groups as well. Uh, and I will finish with several uh, <clears throat> mentions of uh, special issues published uh, uh, recently. Just uh, in the February, we have uh, collaborated with uh, Stefan Wiltke from BC Materials and some other groups to uh, uh, com compose uh, a chemistry in Ukraine uh, collection in chemical records. This special issue contains reviews articles from uh, most prominent Ukraine, Ukrainian chemists called scientists all over Ukraine. So if you are interested to, in, in seeing what type of chemistry is done in Ukraine, you can refer to this collection. Uh, it was published in the last one month in, and uh, see the landscape of various chemistries uh, that are studied here. We have published two, review, uh, two reviews here related to uh, organosulfur chemistry to the synthesis of sulfonamides in particular. And uh, in 2021, uh, another special issue was published in the European Journal of Organic Chemistry, which highlights uh, inamine chemistry. Uh, it was celebrating uh, 30 years of inamine. And you can find some quite interesting uh, papers, red papers there highlighting uh, our chemistry and what we are doing here at Inamin. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, I, would, I am happy to answer them.